Hey, so uh, phone died last night and this morning. Didn't have a charger. I left it here at the convention, so was not able to vlog anything. But uh, this is what I've been up to. So I cleared out this area and plopped this here, my easel, so I can do live drawings. Like I was talking about last night, I did two quick sketches. Uh, nothing serious, but I'm not selling anything. So I'm trying to think of some way to get attention. And um, I've been getting a couple eyes. I don't think they've turned into purchases yet. Someone did buy buttons, so I finally bought, finally sold some buttons. But still early Sunday, so we'll see how it goes. It's so awkward to talk around people, but I'm figuring it out. Okay, goodbye. Hey guys, 1 p.m. right now. I've actually sold a few things, um, so that's good. It's been a slow but okay start, better than yesterday for sure. I did do about four sketches. Uh, not drawing a lot of attention. Uh, these people just don't really seem to be into art too much. You know? so maybe I'll do another sketch later, but it hurts too standing up and drawing. It hurts my back a lot. Um, but yeah, I sold a frame print, which is cool. I haven't sold a lot of frame. That's my second frame print I sold this weekend. Sold a couple of regular prints. And uh, hopefully we can keep it going. So the good thing about making fan art is if you give it to an actor, sometimes they'll sign another copy for you and you ask them for a picture and they have no problem with that and save me 80 bucks for doing some art. So cool. Thank you, Justin. Dragon Ball Z. And Power Rangers, but they're like way stronger than us. So I feel like it might be that good of a team up. Unless we're like talking when Goku was like a kid, maybe. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's take out Frieza's patrols. Yeah, we could. We could do that, and that's about it. So the convention is about to wrap up and I'm trying to sneak some autographs in. I've been giving my, uh, my prints out a lot to these actors, so right now I'm starting to ask for some autographs for the free and uh, working some things out and I think it's going to work out, so I'll show, I'll show you the autographs later. I'm trying to get all the psychos to sign my psycho print. Psycho red, psycho black. Psycho Blue, and then we got Psycho Silver back there. I did it! Yo, if you want free autographs, do fan art. Oh my god, they were nice enough. So throughout the weekend, I was handing out fan art. I wasn't trying to get anything from it, I was just trying to be nice. Here, I did this for you. And uh, so I got the Psychos. Um, Andros was, was more difficult because I didn't really have a relationship with Andros, uh, but he ended up signing it for me for free. I'm like, hey, I gave you art earlier. Mind, can I steal an autograph from you? He's like, steal? But he, he signed it for me. Um, really nice. Um, Black Psycho was helping me out. He asked the Silver Ranger uh, if he could sign it for me, and uh, he had no problem. They signed both. So I was getting the Psychos to sign this print and the comic. And uh, the last thing I needed was Melody, which is uh, Astronomer. I haven't talked to her all weekend, so I didn't have a relationship with her. So I was um, gonna, I was, I was willing to pay for for her autograph. And I went up to her and I gave her some fan art of her. And uh, I didn't really think much of it. I was just, it's just for me. It's, I, I give fan art to break the ice, just so I can say hi to the actors. Um, and it broke the ice, and she was beyond sweet, beyond nice. She was so thankful, and she she immediately said, uh, if, "If you have another, if you have another copy, I'll sign it for you." And I said, "Well, can you sign the comic for me?" And she she had no problem doing that. She was more than happy to do it, and it just went beautifully. So I have everything autographed. Um, so I'm happy about that. And um, yeah, haven't sold much, but oh, by the way, 
how I got the comic. Patrick David, Psycho Red, gave me the comic for free. For free for my birthday. I was talking to him before the convention, and uh, he said he would give it to me. And uh, he did, and he signed it for me, and then I just had to go about getting all the other psychos to sign it, which I previously gave them fan art, so they all signed it for free. No issues. Say it again? For free. So, awesome, awesome takeaway. So at least that's a highlight. Even though I haven't sold a lot of art, at least I got these cool autographs. So. Thank you for coming. And I have been asked to sing a bit of your theme song. So if you guys would be kind enough to allow me, would that be okay? Yes. You can do it! Do it, do it! Here comes the Power Rangers! Here comes the Power Rangers! Here comes the Power Rangers! Go, 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 go! Here comes the Power Rangers! Here comes the Power Rangers! Here comes the Power Rangers! Go, 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 go! So this is the end of Ranger Stop. I'm over here packing up. You see it's emptying out over here. Um, I did some, you know earlier I was doing sketches of those Rangers. Well, I, I didn't have anything to do with those sketches. They were like big pieces of paper and I was just going around trying to give them out to people. So I went into the actors' lines and I was trying to give it to people in the lines. Um, one person took it, um, and then another line, they rejected it, which is ugh, embarrassing, but I'm glad they rather reject it than take it and not do anything with it. Then I went to the green Mystic Force Ranger, Ranger's line, and uh, I was looking for someone that, who wanted it, and no one wanted it, but the actor ended up seeing it, and uh, he loved it, he was complimenting me, and um, he's like, you want me to take it? I'm like, no, 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 I don't want to annoy you, it's a big piece of paper. So I wasn't trying to give it to him, and because uh, I know like they're, they're, they fly back and forth, and he'd have to fold it up, and I wasn't trying to annoy anybody. And if they don't want it, they don't want it. But he, he was, oh my God, so kind, so so kind. But uh, I was like, no, I'm gonna find a home for it, and I ended up finding a home for it. Um, oh, and the Green Rangers like, you want me to sign it for you? Uh, uh, if you give it away, and uh, I'll have it signed, I'll sign it for you, and uh, maybe maybe they'll want it. Or he didn't say that, but. He just offered to sign it, and he did, and uh, that was awesome. And I ended up giving it to Jose, the photographer, which I know he wanted it, and he loved it. And I'm like, hey, why don't we get a picture with him? Uh, Let's we'll see if he wants, to, if he would take a picture with the artwork. And we did that, which I'll show you right here. And so, I just a lot of I had cool moments with the actors. So a lot of cool moments that I, I didn't film, but just handing out fan art, then coming back to them and asking for signatures, and just cool, cool, cool people, cool people. But I gotta hurry up and pack. Then we have a three hour drive back from uh, to um, Davy. But we gotta find something to eat as well before we make the drive. But, um, hey guys, just checking in one last time. This is sleeping or trying to sleep. Um, just driving back home, thinking about the actors I met, the experiences I made. I was just thinking, like, all the conversations I was having with these guys and cosplayers and photographers and other vendors, like, a couple years ago, I would not have been able to do that. Um, just because, uh, like, a lot of people, um, like, get, like, social anxiety, like, like, like a terrorist, potentially, I don't know what to say, and, and all that, but um, you get better at it the more you do it, so I was just thinking, it's cool I was able to talk to these guys and actually, I don't know, build relationships and, and talk about stuff and, and be real. Uh, bonds. And, uh, yeah, sales didn't go well, but I feel like the relationships I made at this convention is gonna pay like, back in the future. Patrick David, the Red Psycho Ranger, he's the one that got me to come to this convention. He was offering to sign prints for me and uh, have me sign, uh, sell it online to make money. And, offered that a couple times. Very, very kind of them. But I had to turn that down. But I just didn't want that kind of relationship with them. Where I'm like, I feel like I'm like using him. Which he wanted to, oh, she's up. Yeah, he wanted to do it. He's like, no, 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 it's not like that. He was more than happy to do that. But 
he wouldn't have seen it as that, no. But I don't know. It just it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Rather have like a clean friendship with them, like you know, I'm friends with you because you're cool dude. Not because I'm selling your autograph. You know, that's how I look at it. But he wouldn't carry it away. He's a really nice guy. Every ranger I met was really nice. Um, it went, it went from, it went from nice to super nice to Omega nice. Oh my God, Omega nice. It's like, nice. like there was all levels. Everyone was, no one was mean or anything or. Everyone was nice, and then it just got better and better. Like, wow, they really made you feel special, you know? Uh, the guys that stick out, Patrick David, Red Cycle Ranger, the Green, um, Mystic Force Ranger, super cool. Uh, Glenn, the, he's the Yellow Ninja Storm Ranger. Then we had um, John Tui. Everyone loved John Tui. What a, what a dude. Oh my god. The biggest star there, like he's an actual movie star, biggest star there, last guy to leave. He stayed and talked to ben, other vendors, fans, um, staff, people working there, like he was just talking to everyone. Just super cool dude, man. He, was, he wasn't rushing anybody, like amazing. Oh, and I got to meet Austin St. James, the original Red Ranger. That's the guy I really wanted to meet. What an honor. Also, a couple years ago, I, w I wouldn't have been able to talk to him. I would have been too nervous or shaky. And I, I'm, I guess I'm, since I've been coming to the conventions and I see celebs, I'm able to go up to someone and talk to them like like a regular person. I'm all fanboying or stuttering. And so it was cool to talk to him a bit. He had a video, he has a video on YouTube. He was a paramedic or uh, something in that field. And he was talking about addiction and dealing with people and your family have addictions. Uh, I was just talking to him about that powerful video he had. I would check it out for you guys. Also the St. James on Addiction. And uh, we talked a bit for, about that and I gave him the fan art that I had of him and he was really thankful. Um, wished him the best. Nice guy. Very nice guy. Um, and all the psychos. Psychos were cool. Talked to Michael a lot, the black psycho. The blue psycho. Um, I gave him fan art and then he signed my comics. So I didn't really talk to him but yeah, it's kind of transaction there. Black Psycho I kept seeing, so I talked to him. I gave him prints at the end there. He, uh, he ended up asking for um, solo Black Psycho prints. So I had the Black Psycho Ranger in a group Psycho Ranger print. And he wanted a solo Black Psycho. And because I brought my printer and computer, my Wacom tablet, I was able to do that on the fly for him and print, print him out and some copies. I gave him four. He's very thankful. And then he's like, you want me to sign one for you? So he gave me one back sign. I don't know if any of these signatures are worth anything, you know, these prints are worth anything, but the gesture of this book counts, so thank you. Got the comic signed by everyone involved. Um, Silver Psycho, Red Psycho, well, Psycho Red, Psycho Silver, Psycho Blue, Psycho Black, Astronema, and uh, Andros. So that was awesome. That, that was, that's, that's the biggest takeaway from this freaking con album. I got a print signed by all the psychos too. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I want to sign off here. That's the last you're gonna see of this video. Uh, I would love to do a ranger stop again. The next one's in Atlanta, in Atlanta, but I don't see myself driving all the way to Atlanta. And then Morphicon would be great, but that's in Cali. I'm in Miami, so too big of a drive. I wish this one would have went better. I had really high hopes. Thank God I met the actors and, and, and had cool, cool uh, interactions. Um, if I didn't have that, then this would have, really would have been disappointing. Thank you for Jessica for coming, supporting me, hanging out with me. Um, she got to meet some people too, take some pictures. So. Today I got to sleep under the table for a while. I got to sleep under the table. So, yeah, we, we made some memories. Where right, Jessica? We made some memories. That'll be at the end of this. I just thought day three. Maybe there'll be more in the future. We'll see. I definitely lost some money on the trip for sure. For sure. So what are you gonna do? That's the vendor life, man. I 
lose more than I gain. This is, I, I've, I've been doing this for a year now. I'm thinking the display is the display, man. I gotta go bigger. I need bigger prints. Catch people's eye more. I got not a lot of thinking to do. We work some things, but alright, I'll let you guys go. Thank you for watching. If you watched all the way through, appreciate you guys. You are the best. Uh, anyone I met at Range Stop, uh, 